Naomi, thank you for joining us on Blue Notes today. Thanks, Karina, for having me. So you're a successful business professional out in regional Australia. Well, I'm proudly located in Wagga Wagga and um, people might be surprised to hear that Wagga actually has a really thriving entrepreneurial scene. And a lot of those startups are actually led by female entrepreneurs, which is, um, I think, incredibly exciting. We want to be located in the agricultural heartland because that's important for farm pay. And really, I hope that by showing that you can be um, a female entrepreneur and you can be located in a regional location, it might inspire other females and other people, um, other growers and farmers on the land to take that next step with their own startup or business ideas. Because, you know, as we all know, you can't be what you can't see. A lot of these innovations will be led by farmers on the land, particularly where it relates to agricultural innovation, because they're the people who are, are really understanding the problems that they're facing and are able to better innovate, I do believe. And certainly that's where farm pay, the idea came from, um, was our own experience on the land as farmers. And you're also a fourth generation farmer. So have you got any predictions or trends that you're seeing in ag tech? And where does your company farm pay fit into this? Yeah, look, so Karina, um, I've just returned from a trip to San Francisco and some emerging themes that um, were certainly um, highlighted several times were firstly the Internet of Things and its application to um, agriculture. So we're seeing lots of sensor technology, drones, precision, precision agriculture. Um, secondly, 3D printing. And then another one is obviously big data. That's particularly relevant for farm pay because we are creating a, a supply chain management platform that enables real-time um, transfer of data and rapid payment for on-farm grain sales. So um, what we're seeing there is that's creating efficiency through the use of big data for farmers and enabling them to make um, better decisions in, um, in quicker time. Now you're also a finalist for the She Starts program and She Starts is a technology accelerator designed to turbocharge female participation in innovation and the startup economy. Why this program? How is it helping you and FarmPay? The benefit of the She Starts program is it's enabled me to take FarmPay from ideation through to um, uh, validation, product development and next month into pilot. So um, the program wraps around you various um, technical components that assist you to um, develop your business and give you the best chance to succeed which is really important. And also we get access to Australia's, some of Australia's best business leaders as mentors. So now that you've been through this program, what would you say your top three tips for anyone out there wanting to start and grow their business? The first one would be to validate, validate, validate. So you, um, you're solving a problem, but you need to get out there and make sure that you talk to your customers. So there's not a, a week that goes by that I don't go out and speak to um, a grower, a trader or a buyer. And that's getting that constant feedback so that I can make sure that farm pay is being developed to suit their needs and solve a real problem. Uh, the second one would be um, that you must stay true to your purpose as a founder. So I constantly go back to, you know, why are we here for farm pay? And that's really to provide that transparency over the supply chain, but also to ensure that farmers get paid. So um, stay true to your purpose. Mm. And then finally, um, you'll need a lot of um, resilience, grit and determination as a founder. And that's incredibly important because you'll go through some tough um, times in your startup and you need to be able to stay focused and, and draw on um, your, your resilience. Some great tips there. So I'd love to ask what the upcoming ag season is looking like. Is there anything we need to be prepared for? Look, um, we've seen wheat prices rally over the last couple of months and that's off the back of lower than average rainfall globally. So the current um, season for wheat is looking 30% um, lower than the previous year, which was a bumper season though. Mm. Um, so with average, lower than average winter rainfall, farmers are definitely looking for some more rain. Brilliant. Naomi, thank you so much for talking to us on Blue Notes out in this beautiful landscape. It's wonderful to have you here and we'll be sure to follow your journey. Thanks, Karina.